Here it's the big T up at home plate. Andre Thornton, the stretch, and the pitch. There's a drive deep to left field. Back goes Hatcher. Back, back, back. She goes. And it's gone. The thing that I remember growing up in Phoenixville as a, as a young person is the great opportunity in which we had here. And, uh, you know, we had wonderful sports uh, from the time that I was seven years of age up until I finished high school here. Babe Ruth World Series. And so here I am from this little small town of Phoenixville, uh, yet competing against uh, some of the best athletes that we have in the country at that time. So what it did, it gave a tremendous amount of confidence to know that you can compete against anybody in the country. The memories of, of you know, playing for, for Phoenixville in terms of, of the high school was the fact that we competed against Westchester. We were always, every time we played Westchester, we had tremendous uh, scouts that were around looking at us. So uh, I was then seen and scouted and eventually signed. And John Ogden, uh, who was a scout for the Philadelphia Phillies, who signed Dick Allen, uh, uh, saw me play, and uh, they allowed me to come in, and, and, and Mock says, I want to see what he can do. And Larry uh, uh, Shepard was the pitching coach, and he was throwing fastballs, and, and I was hitting fastballs out of Connie Mack Stadium. And, and at that time, only Dick Allen was doing that. Uh, and so Gene Mock, after a while, he, he got mad and said, throw him sliders. And after the first couple pitches, I missed them. You know, I had never seen a slider before. And then I, I got caught up with the slider and, and started hitting th them out as well. Well, it just so happened that Ruley Carpenter, his father, Bob Carpenter, and John Ogden were out in right field watching all of this. And so before I could you know, leave the field, they said that they wanted to sign me. Uh, about a week later, uh, Mr. Ogden showed up at the Golden Q Pool Hall here that used to be here in Phoenixville and said, we want to sign you to a free agent contract. I spent five years with, with the Philadelphia system. Uh, and in 1971, I was traded to Atlanta Brave. The next uh, uh, spring, I was traded to Chicago. And from there, uh, in July of that year, I went to the big leagues and spent the next 15 years there. Not since the days of Rocky Calavito has Cleveland had a slugger like this. 33 home runs, 105 RBIs. The Indians' man of the year ranked fourth in the league in home runs, RBIs, runs scored, and walks. Over one-fourth of the total Indian offense was either scored or driven home by Andre Thornton. Congratulations are in order for Andre Thornton, the American League's 1982 Comeback Player of the Year. The Roberto Clemente Award is, is, is something very special uh, because it's highly regarded throughout Major League Baseball. Uh, and, and I had a chance to meet uh, Roberto and, and uh, uh, so that, that's always a, a special one, but mostly because of what it means uh, and what it represents in baseball. But, you know, the comeback player, the, all of them are special uh, because they all mean something. As a professional athlete, you're continuing, uh, continually uh, uh, vindicating your ability year after year and, and doing things that uh, uh, over and over again because everyone seems uh, to forget what you've done in the past so it's nice to be able to to come back when everyone thought that maybe you were through and show them that you have uh, I hope quite a few years left. My faith played a tremendous part not only in my my career but in, in my life as a whole because it gave me purpose and gave direction. There was some reason why we're put here uh, and that gave me that purpose to know that that I had an opportunity to impact the lives of other people, and other people look to you. I, I didn't realize it until I played professional sports, how many lives that you impact, because there's so many people that see you that you don't even know, uh, that are encouraged or even blessed by your life. Uh, and that was a turn, when, when you began to realize that, that was a turning point that just, uh, was not only overwhelming, but it was also very challenging.
The thing that I would tell a young person is, again, enjoy what you do uh, and give it your best. And never look back and say that I could have done something different. Do the best you can, give it all you have, and never look back and say, I wish I would have done something else. I'm Andre Thornton. This is a Voxy Pop Spotlight.